Keith Evans, one of the best athletes, I, one of the very best athletes in the world, played 10 years of the football, could squat 700 pounds at one time, no legs. Keep putting in the collagen, everybody. Keep putting in uh, the vitamins, the vitamin D for the connective tissue, uh, C for collagen, um, also collagen itself. One of the big things is, is like Arnold says, can you go into a gym, can you do the routine and still move through it without getting the best benefit? And 100% you can. Mikey, hey, so Mike, I, at some point I want to talk to you because I know that you did the blitz and I know you did the dry out. And so I'm just curious, and this is for everybody. What I've been asking a lot of people to do especially my one-on-ones is to send me training exercises like squats and stuff so I can see their form and see how they're connected because I noticed that a lot of people are doing the diet. They're doing the, the training like they think they should be. They, they're doing the sleep. They're doing the water. They're doing everything. Um, and they're still not making those big changes. And so one of the big things is, is like Arnold says, can you go into a gym can you do the routine and still move through it without getting the best benefit? And 100% you can. Um, and we see it. And it's it's probably the most painful thing for me to be in a gym and see that stuff because it's the no gains club. The no gains club. Oh, it I is remember. tough for me to watch Excuse individuals me. lift and you can just see there's nothing going on. There's no connection. There's just, it's not. So, there's a lot of this going around and I want to make sure that you Titans are all doing the exercises correctly. And so I do recommend that you film, uh, even though you don't have to show it, you don't have to do it. It's just like, um, like anything, if you don't want to show it, film it for you and watch it and then see if you're really connected to the exercises and the lifting you're doing. Um, I don't mean leg press. I don't mean dumbbell curls. I mean something that's an actual exercise like, squats or if you are doing deadlifts or you're doing pull downs something like a pull down because a pull down could be performed and there could be only arms yeah. being worked and there's no back or you could see it from behind and you're lopsided and you would never know you'll never know if you're lopsided pull up pull up a lot pull down what's your side lateral look like are, are yeah. you really lifting with your shoulders or are you swinging it up yeah. um and so sometimes when i see lifts on the titan crew like Luke put up some videos a couple weeks ago and, and all three lifts to me were not, were not good. There were, there were great lifts for someone in the Titan crew. Um, and if they were in the gold's gym, I'd say that guy does pretty well. So, so the standard in the Titan crew is going to be above everything. Um, and so Luke's lifts for gold's gym was great, but it's not good enough for the Titan crew. And so I said, Hey, slow down, make sure the bench press is a touch. Pause, press, make sure your squat is in control, and make sure your deadlift isn't a powerlifting deadlift. You guys are not powerlifting. There's one or two of you that are powerlifting. And a powerlifting deadlift is for just that. It's the purpose of lifting the most amount of weight on a form. But it doesn't mean that develops your back. Do you know how many guys I know that deadlift six, 700 pounds and they have no developed back? And that's not what you guys want to do. And I think you think, if you deadlift 500, you'll have that back of a 500 deadlifter, and you won't. So it's just like a squat. I know guys that squat 500, and they have chicken legs. Keith Evans, one of the best athletes, I, one of the very best athletes in the world, played 10 years of football, could squat 700 pounds at one time, no legs. He trained for athletic purposes, and he was incredible at it. And again. You don't get to be a pro football player by being decent. Yeah, right. You get there by being the very best in the world. And then you only get two years. He got 10 years. So not only did he get there, he lasted. So his ability as athletic and strength and work ethic is next to none. But he didn't develop legs. So after he retired, he came and worked out with me and we developed legs on him by slowing him down by changing his form and getting his squat even better than it was before. So strength does not mean size, not all the time, unless you're just genetically gifted. So, you know, you got these people that walk into the gym and they do some curls with 20 pounds and their arms grow. That's awesome. That's not everybody. 
and don't be jealous of that. That happens. That's life. Um, but not all of us have that kind of genetics where we're going to walk in and look like Serge and, and have that kind of body just by lifting a little bit. So we got to work and we got to work harder than everybody else. And we can't make excuses like, oh, they do other stuff or this or that. It don't matter what what they do. It matters on what we do. OK. Um, so I want you guys to make sure you're videoing squats, videoing exercises like side laterals. Jeffrey made a great point. Pull downs. That way you can also check to see if you're even behind your back um, and the body is looking functionally correct. Now, Mike, I did want to talk to you because you said you dropped two pounds <clears throat> when you did the blitz and then another pound or two when you did the dry out. So it just confuses me a little bit because uh, a fasting day for you, you'll drop two pounds. So, um, and you started, I think, at 175. And I just wanted to see more leanness. So I don't know where, if something was missing, if you weren't taking enough of the protein or, or doing the full calories, because there would have been a muscularity change there. Like Mona, it doesn't mean if you do the blitz for everybody here. It doesn't mean you just drop, okay? But you do get rid of body fat, and there you get rid of a large amount of body fat. Mona put on seven pounds during the blitz. So everybody's different, but you still lose that body fat, and that's what I wanted to see for you, Mike, on the uh, blitz and the dry out. I wanted to see more change. Um, I know that you're very happy. So Mike's saying, uh, started at 225 and went down to 170. If that is so, you crushed it then. You crushed it. I didn't see the photos, though, at 225. I was only seeing photos at 175 to 170. So could you post the photos from your starting at 225 to 175, if I'm reading that correctly? Because it looks like you said in July you were 225. So what I'm just curious about what it was when you started the Blitz. Um. <clears throat> Because I would love you to do it again after the first of the year. Because I think you could have full set of abs. Full set of abs. And I want to see that the line and everything. So that's what I want for you, Mikey. I want you just that ridiculous abdomen. Uh, my bicep tendon has gotten so much better. Good. Freaking love that, James James. Keep putting in the collagen, everybody. Keep putting in... Uh, the vitamins, the vitamin D for the connective tissue, uh, C for collagen, um, also collagen itself. Yeah, right now we're just focusing on the Titan Challenge 3 check-ins. Um, so the one thing I, I've been trying to create with the Titan crew is, um, and one of the big things is so just everybody understands, is you can do the Titan Challenge 3 to get lean. You could do it to build muscle. It's just a different program, and I'm trying to get the team to work together. That way, everybody's kind of going through maybe similar programs at the same time so they can really work off of each other, yeah. um, and that's what I'm trying to do is create more of a team that's going towards uh, one program at a time, and so like after the beginning of the year, we have the new Titan Challenge, uh, not the new Titan Challenge. We have two new programs coming out, and I would love you guys to try those out. And that way you guys can bounce ideas off each other and say, hey, today's leg day. Everybody's got leg day. Today's chest day. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and so the one main thing I want to make sure, and the team said that you got to focus on the Titan Challenge 3 and the people that are doing that at this time. All right. Um, but after we finish up here, uh, December 1st, I will be doing another check in for everybody for everyone so we're ready for january 1st and start to uh hit the ground running for that and also we're going to be doing the reverse diet and that's everybody so let me just jump into that and finish off today uh we're going to have out in the next couple of weeks reversing out how we get off the plan we're on or at least utilize the plan that we're on to recover how do we come off of the calories? How do we come off of uh, the cardiovascular? And what I mean by calories is a lot of you are dieting. And so by coming off calories in the sense of our diet and putting food back in, there's a certain way we have to do it to make sure two things. We don't rebound. Uh, we don't shock the body. 
and we keep the gains during that whole process of the Titan Challenge 3, and we keep those gains, and we keep the bodies. There's a couple of people that are still doing check-ins that reversed off of the blitz before we started. And if you go in there and you look at that, and you'll see some of the guys that have done that, they still have their abs after a good 12 weeks of doing Titan Challenge 3 and putting food back in. And they're not doing cardio. And that's where I want everybody to get to. Everybody, at some point, I would love you all to be off the cardio and, and eating good amount of calories and be in the shape you want to be in. So that's why the reverse diet is going to be so important for all of us. Well, I, I call it diet, reverse diet. Reverse. Yeah. It's a reverse program. It's us getting our bodies right for stimulation, he says. And I would say that's very elementary, my dear Watson. And these guys are too young to even know what that is. Implies. Yeah, it's just, it implies. When I speak of reversing, I, I'm speaking of the whole thing. Plan. The plan we're on, the, the, the way that we train, the way that we sleep, yeah. uh, the way that we're eating, the we're and the way that we focus on our lifting, even. It's, it's, it's down to the final detail of you guys had to give up so much to do what you're doing. Okay. Now let's get back into making sure our relationship is good, our family is good, our work is good, and getting ready for the holidays is good. So that's part of the reverse in which I will make sure that yeah. that's also part of this. So you understand when you're reading this that you go, okay, I gave so much time to the gym. I need to give time to the balance of my life outside of the gym now. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, good. So that's one of the big things there for, for what these guys are talking about too. So this is for us and work. <laughs> Serge has got four girlfriends. So you imagine he has to reverse out of this. Ten kids, Ten kids four girlfriends. Oh, all right. You know what's funny is uh, one of our crew here came over and deadlifted and did bent over rows with us last week. On Tuesday mornings, I team up with uh, my chiropractor and we do deadlifts because he's going to get ready for this world record. And we brought a couple of Titan crew members over and we had them work out with us. And it was funny because this goes back to what I talked about earlier about watching people do exercises um, because deadlifts are pretty basic exercise, right? Bent over rows are pretty basic exercise. Can you do it wrong? 100%. Um, and, and so when we brought over some of the people, they were doing it incorrectly and they could see the difference by doing it right compared to doing it wrong or going through the motions and the change to the body it does. So it's, it's such a big thing. So today was really talking about you guys go out video, put those videos up there. So that is, that's our homework. Our homework this week, besides talking to me tomorrow on Skype is putting up some videos and um, we'll give the, uh, some positive and honest responses to how you move through a back exercise or your side laterals or a squat. Uh, I only do recommend though, if you are going to put up a video, edit the video prior to putting it up. Oh, man. Um, make sure that you shoot the videos the same way we do in oh, front, man. facing away from the mirror in the squat rack, uh, with it in front of you, not on the side. And then just have it edited to where it's the beginning of the squat to the end of the squat, not the, Setting it, setting it up, up walking over there, getting set up and going. Just boom, bench. boom. Let's see it. Get in, get out, edit that before. You can do that on your phone. Um, and that's it. In and out. In and out. Hit it and go. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, if you want to, if anybody wants to peek on December 1st or any day prior to uh, the, the finish date, I would just start the dry outs or anything like that prior to that. What's up? Uh, Thought of something? Yeah. So I would recommend just starting that and start the dry out as early as if you guys want to finish up. So it's really your call. If you want to do the dry out and finish up the day after Thanksgiving or the day of Thanksgiving, Feel free to do that. It's really up to you guys when you want to finish this. Um, for me, I'm not finishing it until December 5th when I leave to Dubai. Uh, but for you guys, if you want to finish it up next week or this week, I would recommend starting the dry out 
um, prior to that. So for everybody, the dry out, Jeff, will you throw that dry out up there for them? Dry yeah. So if you're going to do the dry out, do it soon. Um, I think most of you want to celebrate Thanksgiving. And so if you do do the dry out that week, uh, make sure that the Thanksgiving would be your Saturday in a sense, because Saturdays usually finish up your dry outs. Okay. Then you recover Sunday and then do another dry out. 